guys, welcome to the Creation Zone. It's Debbie, and I didn't plan on doing a video today, but my day went like uber perfect. Have you ever had those kinds of days where you don't think you're going to get anything done and you get more done than you wanted? Well, that's the kind of day I'm having, so I thought, ah, let me get this video out of the way that I've been planning. Um, this video is going to be focused around our rub-ons and our decor element sheets. Uh, a lot of times people don't realize that these products are in our in our catalogs and our occasion minis. Um, they ca they tend to get overlooked a little bit. Rub-ons have come a long way. They used to be just your standard font, black and white, and now they come in all sorts of colors and, and shapes and varieties, and they're just the coolest things to use. And I'm a huge fan of vinyl. So our decor en elements sheets are really a good value when I explain to you what you get when you order our decor elements. Um, I'm also a huge repurpose and reuse person. So after Christmas time, I go on the hunt for anything red. Obviously, Valentine's Day is the following holiday. So I know that I can definitely reuse, repurpose, or find some kind of need for it. If I absolutely can't, it goes in the Christmas box for next year, but that hasn't happened to me yet. I, I bought Table Scatter. Um, when I decorate for holidays, I, I tend to just go and buy inexpensive things that I can use that kind of gives me a big wow, and I sprinkle these little rose petals all over my house, um, and I bought these at Target Dollar Spot, but they weren't really a dollar. They were like the two fifty thing. So I just bought a whole bunch of that stuff, and I wasn't sure if this was going to become a like a candle uh, scape, or, but yeah, like a candlescape, or if it was going to become a cupcake tray. And I've decided cupcakes. So what I've done is I have started um, the process to show you a couple things that you can do. Now one of the things I wanted to let you know about is there are our rub-ons. Now we have our rub-ons on our Occasions Mini. They are Love Impressions. I'll show you a copy of our Occasions Mini. They look like this. Okay, and there's four sheets in there, and the colors are like real red, pink pirouette, whisper white, and basic gray. Perfect for Valentine's Day, really cute icons, um, and you get several images, so that's always fun when you have a variety. I have, in my possession, some of them that I uh, started to cut out and play with, and I'm going to use the little XOs, XOs. Now, they came in white and pink also, but I'm just utilizing the white ones and my flip died so I'm trying to use my other camera and I'm a little bit off today with that um, so I'm hoping this is all in view um, one thing I decided to do and this has been everything is trial and error for me I mean if I try it and if I, it doesn't work then okay we move on we've, we've learned um, but I decided that I was going to see if these would rub on oops it's upside down on metal so I just took I cut up a, a portion of these out just with a pair of scissors. I peeled off the protective backing and now I'm going to just rub these on this tray that I bought. I got this tray at um, Bed Bath & Beyond 50 cents. I mean it was like one of those 75% off dealios and it had a couple little minor blemishes to it and, which I don't care because I'm going to cover it up anyways. And when it's full of cupcakes really are we looking at the blemishes? So if you've never used a rub-on, it comes with a popsicle stick. You leave the the rub-on is stuck to the paper, stuck to the top cover, and you use your popsicle stick to burnish the rub-on onto your surface. These work on a lot of different things. The only thing I haven't found it to be successful on is fabric. Um, I'm sure someone will let me know if I'm wrong, but that hasn't been a winner for me. And then after you've burnished it appropriately enough, you just want to peel it off slowly, and then you will get a pretty decent little image there. Now, obviously, you cannot wash this in the dishwasher. It's it's strictly, you know, supposed to be fun, and if you're going to make cupcakes for Valentine's Day or little treats or something, I mean, how nice would it be to put all that stuff on this tray that's decorated? And do you really care if you get this back for 50 cents? Um, come on. I, I don't. Teachers can have it or whoever. Um, and then also, I played a little bit with our vinyl, and our vinyl comes in a lot of different colors, and as you know, because when Stampin' Up! does something, they go large, and our colors are, uh, they match our color families, 
And on page 205 of your idea book and catalog, you'll find all of the different types of decor element sheets that we sell, all the different colors. On top of act, the, you know, regular colors from our color line, there's also clear and chalkboard. Chalkboard vinyl. How fun is that? I haven't ordered this yet. I've been because I'm just I'm dying to, but I, I want a, a purpose. I want to actually have a project in my head. And if you want to look, you're getting it's twelve ninety five. Now you can buy vinyl out there in the store by another major company. And the difference between our vinyl and their vinyl is you get two transfer sheets on top of the vinyl. Okay, so the value is definitely there. They are 12 by 24 inch sheets. You get two of the vinyl and you get two of the transfer sheets. Um, the other company makes you buy that separate. So something to consider. So I'm just working with the Whisper White decor vinyl and I wanted to put some icons on there. Um, I, wanted to, it, I wanted to say Happy Valentine's Day. I'll figure out how I'm going to do that in another one. But right now I'm just going to go on along the edge. And you know what? I may decide not even to put Happy Valentine's Day. I mean, it's hearts. People are going to realize that it's Valentine's. So as you can see, I started to use my punches. Um, what I've learned through this process is that the more intricate punches tend not to punch as clear, as crisp. And the larger, um, simpler images, you get a really nice, you can tell here, you get a really nice cr crisp edge. So it's going to be a process for you to try, but I'm going to show you with our large heart punch how easy this is. I always work with my punches upside down. Take a corner of my vinyl and I punch. The vinyl is on the top. On the back, there's a protective uh, layer, a transfer. I'm not, it's not really a transfer paper. And as you just pull it up on the side, and look how easy that comes up. All right, and then find wherever it is that you want to place this on your tray or on your project. And that's there. Not, not dishwasher safe. I have to emphasize that, not dishwasher safe. And I thought it would be really cute to go around this also with some polka dots. So we'll bring in our vinyl again and I can really get my get some value out of it because I'm punching my images close together and again by just rolling up the side it pulls off that easy and I'm going to put that over here next to the XOXO I'm doing this in all white um, I don't have a lot of colors uh, for the decor elements I, not for Valentine's Day, <laughs> anyways. So I'm just going to continue to work around and add some more polka dots. And I hope that you've enjoyed this little handy tip. And I hope you give it a try. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.